Hi and welcome back my friends. Today I'm going to be making a delicious recipe called Chinese barbecue pork. It's going to be amazing. You're going to love it and uh, I hope you enjoy this recipe because I put this recipe with a lot of love for you my friend. I know that by now you know my style. We've been doing this together for a little bit now. I hope you keep liking my recipes. I hope you keep commenting on my recipe. Subscribe to this channel and give me those thumbs up, my friend. Let me introduce you what we're going to do today. Just follow me here. We have here something called tenderloin. My sister loves tenderloin and she's going to be coming over for dinner, okay? So, um, since she's going to be coming for dinner with her family, I'm going to do the tenderloin for her. But I prefer the pork neck. I like pork neck because it's less, it's a little bit more fatty. It has more fat. Since we're going to be baking, the fat, it's going to give the pork some kind of juice. It's going to make it nice and juicy and tender. And the tenderloin, on the other hand, it's a little tend to be a little bit more dry. But it's her preference, my friend. I am by her for dinner and I'm going to please her with this beautiful dinner, okay? So basically what we're going to do, we're going to cut the pork neck two nice slices. Nice. It's going to be beautiful. As you can see, it's a little bit more fat to it. Thailand uh, people that usually use this kind of um, meat, the pork neck, to do, um, to do the barbecue. We're going to pat it with a fork making sure that we get little holes in there so we gotta do the same thing alrighty we get enough holes now remember we're gonna dry it up we don't want any residue of water. We don't want an egg, any extra water in there, okay? So these are gonna be the main ingredients. My friend, don't get scared. There's a lot of ingredients, but you're gonna love it. You know how I work by now. I like my food to have texture, to have flavor, to, I like to play with herbs. I like to play with um, different kinds of seasoning. I like to incorporate all these good flavors. We're gonna use red onions and shy, baby shives too. Um, we're gonna use ginger, we're gonna use garlic, and we're gonna use fresh chives. Cilantro that we're using is the stem. Every stem is usually when I'm peeling off my cilantro and I leave the stem aside, that stem gives the food such a such a unique flavor so for the sauce we're gonna use brown sugar five chinese five spices honey yeast red rice for the color we have dark soy sauce uh, we have soy sauce in here uh, we have fish sauce and hoisin sauce that's the barbecue that they use in thailand this is the main barbecue sauce, which it gives us such a beautiful, tasteful, sweeter, um, delicious flavor. We're gonna use, for the oil, we're gonna use sesame oil, uh, Chinese white rice wine, a little bit of vinegar that I like to add for citrus flavor, pinch of salt, white pepper, coriander, and a little bit of my Worcestershire sauce, okay? Those are all the main ingredients we're gonna be used. We're gonna blend everything, all these ingredients together in the neutral bullet. So just like we done that in the past, we cut it, and then we put it in the blender. We could use, um, not we, if we don't have a neutral bullet, you could use a blender a food processor, but since I'm gonna make this sauce and I want my sauce not to be, um, I don't wanna feel chunks. So I wanna make it as smooth as fast as we can. So that's the reason why I'm gonna use the, um, the Nutra Bullet because the Nutra Bullet does a phenomenal job on that. And there's some blender as well that they do the same kind of job, okay? my 
my uh, East Rice coriander in here because I don't have the powder today. I don't only have the seeds, so I need to um, put the seeds in the blender. So um, now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna add just a little bit of sesame um, toasted. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna blend this all together and stay tuned. We have the paste. It's sort of like a paste what I need. Like I mentioned before, I do not want a lumpy. I want a nice and very puree. It's this exactly how I want it. Nice and soft. So now we're gonna put it in this bowl here. We're gonna pour in here our five spices, okay? Five Chinese spices. Brown sugar, honey for color, for flavor, for texture. Our dark soy sauce nice for color a fish sauce a soy sauce a bit of uh, sesame oil white pepper for hint for colorful spiciness paprika paprika is gonna give a beautiful color but at the same time it's gonna give the smoky flavor to our meat it's beautiful i love paprika it's gonna give the smoky flavor Poison sauce, okay, our barbecues, Chinese. A little bit of vinegar for sweet and sour in there. Break all these molecules from the sugar is the rice wine. If you don't wanna go rice wine free, it's optional too. The Worcester sauce too. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be amazing, it's gonna be delicious. And we are gonna put salt for flavor too. We're gonna whisk it together. Okay, this beautiful sauce is already done. It's already blended together and it's ready to be used. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna cut the shives, okay? And we're gonna add it into the sauce, okay? For more flavor, and feel the flavor. Okay, so we cut the shives and we put it back into the sauce for more flavor. And as you can see, this oh, how flavor that looks. Oh, I'm gonna wash my hands nice and sanitize them. As you can see, I don't have long nails, I don't wear any jewelry. So my hands are nice and clean, sanitize it all the time because I do like to feel my meat. And I'm not afraid if my hands are gonna get stained because I know a whole bunch of chemicals like natural fresh. Um, stuff that could help me to clean my hands. Wow, look at this sauce in here. Oh, oh, oh. So I'm gonna dig in into my sauce, into my meat, to make sure that this gets all looking. The, look at that color in there already. See? We're gonna put it in for at least for 24 hours in the refrigerator. We're gonna put it, cover it up with plastic. And after 24 hours, my friend, we want to come back. Stay tuned. Um, this is ready. The 24 hours ready went by, and this is smelling delicious. All the spices, all the sauces have combined pretty well. This is smelling delicious. 24 hours, my friend, we had to wait, and this is ready to be cooked. All right, so this is what we're going to do, my friend. Come and take a quick pic on that. Look how beautiful that looks. Everything has simmered. Everything, all those juices, I can already see the color has changed. This is what we're going to do, my friend. We're gonna use one, uh, a rocket, the pan sheet, okay? That's another one that I have here that you could use this one too. It's just, it's up to you. But I'm choosing to use uh, this uh, today. What we're going to do, we're gonna get um, some paper, aluminum paper. We're gonna cover it up because we don't want a messy residue in here, okay? And 
This is going to be amazing. I promise this is going to taste delicious. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, I just want to give it a hickory smoky flavor. Despite the fact this is going to be inside of the house, inside of the oven, I want to get that smoky going from the wood chips, okay? So we're going to do this. We're going to pretend that we are cooking right outside in the grill, okay? Oh, you will love that. The last time I made it, everyone loved it, okay? We're going to put water, enough water in there, okay? We're going to suck them all in. So now what we're going to do, we're going to put our racket in here. Make sure that your racket sits correctly, okay? It's perfect, all right? So now what we're going to do, we're going to get it out. Oh, look, look at this, my friend. This is amazing. Look at the color on that. It's just phenomenal. We're going to use that sauce just to spread it around. That smells delicious. Just smelling amazing. Oh, this is going to, I could, oh, I could smell it. It's just phenomenal. It just smells amazing. And don't forget that we're going to try the pork neck today and we're going to try the stir loin to see the, which one uh, it cooks better for us okay which one has so now we have laid all the meat in the rocket and we have the water and we have the worships in there and because of that we have to check it every 10 minutes okay i'm gonna put it in for 10 minutes i'm gonna get it out and i'm gonna drizzle it barbecue sauce we're gonna do so make sure, because when we're cooking, we need to pay attention because we don't want to burn the food or we want to run out of the water. We don't want any incidents to happen. This is taking so long and it's taking 24 hours for me to get distracted in this uh, beautiful um, pork neck, barbecue pork neck and stir loin. My mouth is so watery already that I can't wait to just take a nice bite out of that and i know you've been waiting for it as well let's put it in the on the oven at 350. i'm going to cook mine for 50 minutes since it's a big quantity but i'm going to take it out every 10 minutes okay this is amazing look how beautiful this looks oh beautiful right goes, goes right in there so now we're going to do every 10 minutes we're gonna cook it we're gonna get it out dress it up with the sauce we're gonna make and then we put it right back on sauce the simple marinated sauce that we use we're gonna drain it because remember i put all these ingredients in there that i don't want i don't want it to go in the sauce so we're gonna drain everything and we're gonna use the same sauce to make the glazy uh, barbecue sauce dough. To make it nice and glazy, we're gonna add a little, uh, some honey. Look, look how that goes in our dressing, beautiful. Okay, some sugar to that as well. It's so a for flavor. More paprika. We're gonna add a little bit more of garlic, ga uh, chili garlic sauce, okay? just a little so we mix everything together we're going to do we're going to cook this in the stove all right make sure that they're nice and thick onion so this is how we're going to be dressing the meat every time we get it out of the oven okay you gotta glaze it every 10 minutes you can come and see how this uh, barbecue sauce is coming look how nice and thick this is amazing. The aroma is working that house through. This is all tasting and smelling delish. We're going to pour some of that sauce in here. Look, look at this. Uh, uh, isn't that beautiful? Wow. Amazing. And we're going to leave some of that in the pot for later on when we're going to eat it with the food that we're going to combine it with. Okay. 10 minutes already went by. And this stuff is smelling amazing. Wow. With the smell, with the wood, the hickory smell. This is amazing. Look how beautiful that it's coming. Wow. The smell with that wood smells amazing. This, um, let's drizzle it first, okay? 
Oh, look at that sauce. Look at this beautiful sauce. Oh, oh my gosh, look at this place. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful, my friend. You're going to love this. Oh. We'll be here, my friend, to smell this. You'll be loving it just like I am. My house is smelling delicious. It's smelling like summertime, like we're grilling in the summer. This is amazing. Oh, look how beautiful this is coming. Now we're going to do, after we get this done, we're going to do it in the earth. We're going to turn it around and we're going to do the same thing three times. This is the result we've been waiting for, for the pork for so long. And this came nice and juicy and tender. This is so amazing. Look how that looks. Look at that color in there. This is just fantastic. That's the sirloin there. And this is the pork shoulder, okay? Oh, look how beautiful. This is amazing. This is the pork neck. And this is the story going absolutely. I would definitely, definitely recommend to do the stir of the pork neck. It comes more juicy. This is how I will serve my um, barbecue pork neck or stir going. I will serve it with um, plain white rice with a little bit of sweet and sour mango, saute with a little bit of cilantro and the barbecue sauce that we made previously. This is how beautiful that will look, my friend. And I can tell you that this is so tasteful. Bite of that. I'm gonna drizzle it with my sauce. Okay, I'm gonna drizzle it a little bit. And we're gonna Pour out a little bit of that sauce in here, and that it's going to taste delicious, my friend. You see, oh, delicious! You see, mm. amazing. This was worth the time. It's worth to wait all those twenty-four hours. Plus the process we went through together. This is a dish you should make yourself for your loved ones, for your friends. If you like my recipe, my friend, just don't forget to give me the thumbs up. Um, just don't forget to subscribe. And we love you, my friend. I have listed a few extra recipes for you. And as you can see, um, when I make barbecue pork, I make so many different recipes. But out of all the recipes that I have listed here, those are the ones that we like the most at home. I hope you can enjoy those recipes as much as we do. Rice, rice, special homemade lo mein, delicious spring rolls, and lastly, my son love the barbecue cheese sandwich with a beautiful coleslaw you must have these dishes because they all taste delicious at home we love them and we hope for you to love them as well and we hope to see you soon bye bye